Good evening, everyone. Thanks a lot for staying with us. You're watching Plain Speak with me, Shivani Gupta. The heat and the threat post the Nupur Sharma comment row is not even over and perhaps never will. Look at what has happened to Salman Rushdie decades after satanic verses. But the BJP, it seems, has no dearth of people who will drag the party into such rows again and again. BJP MLA from Gosha Mahal, Assembly constituency in Hyderabad, stoked a similar row on August 20 when he made alleged derogatory comments against Prophet Muhammad in a video uploaded on social media while opposing comedian Munaffar Paruki's show in the city. Now remember, Paruki himself is a very controversial comedian who has been criticised and legally acted upon for his derogatory comments using Hindu gods and goddesses during his comic act. Following Raja Singh's remarks, protests erupted in Hyderabad demanding action and he was also arrested earlier today. Hours after his arrest, BJP cracked the whip and suspended him from the party. Meanwhile, despite seeing what has happened when passions when it were inflamed by politicians and other prominent citizens alike on the Nupur Sharma Rao, how her life was put under threat, rioting broke out in many cities of the country and two people that we can say for sure were killed just for supporting Nupur, AIMIM didn't stop from further inflaming, uh, inflaming passions on this case. This despite the fact that their councillor from Hyderabad, Zafar Khan, was caught on camera chanting provocative Sartan Se Juda slogans against Raja Singh and his support. So who is really guilty of inciting passions? We will take that to our guests in just a bit, but first a little bit about both of these sites. Now, Raja Singh is an extremely controversial figure. In his case, it doesn't really seem his cause is an ideology, but to be in news for all the wrong reasons. In recent case, he threatened to disrupt this comedian Munafa Faruqi's show. He was taken into preventive custody with 50 others. In April 2022, he was booked after provocative speeches during a Ram Navmi Shobha Yatra. He was booked for creating nuisance, disturbing public peace. September 2020, he was banned by Facebook for hate speech. Some of his social posts are highly derogatory and inflammatory, often inviting a call to violence. April 2017, threatened to behead those opposing the construction of Ram. December 2015, he said that he is ready to kill or get killed to protect Gaumata in response to a beef fest which was organized at Osmania University. 43 police cases. He has declared as per his 2018 election affidavit alone. But it's not like the AIMIM is full of saints either. They're never to be left behind when it comes to a religious polarization issue, starting from the very top, their national face, Asad Gunavesi. Take a look at this. In June this year alone, there have been three such instances. AIMIM MP Imtiaz Jalil demanded on camera hanging of Nupur Sharma from the Aurangabad Square. Also in the same month, 30 AIMIM workers were arrested for writing in Delhi over the Nupur Sharma Rao. Also in the same month, Asaduddin Ovesi was booked for his social media post. This was also connected to the Nupur Sharma FIR. In April 2022, this year, AIMIM leader was arrested for inciting violence in Hubli. In May this year, Danish Qureshi, another of their leader, was arrested, accused of derogatory remarks on Hindu deities. Last year in March, AIMIM councillor was charged with instigating riots in Telangana. In fact, there are several cases of violence, especially when it comes to blasphemy, where a role of the AIM comes out, their workers on ground or their leaders. And who can forget, of course, Barit pa Baris Patan. He's one of their prominent faces and spokespersons. He had said 15 crore Muslims can dominate 100 crore Hindus. So they're, of course, not very secular. Big debate that is coming up today. This Prophet Rao, which is now coming in Telangana, exactly who is to be blamed for this? And is this not a deliberate bid to inflame passions by both sides? First up, let's also listen into some comments. Here, the Bhajpa wants to do a communal riot. Here, the Bhajpa wants to do a Bhajpa Telangana, the investment of Hyderabad's growth, and wants to stop it. And for their own political roti, वो मुसलमानों को और प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि सल्लम के बारे में अपने विधायक से इस तरह की गंदगी और बकवास बकवा रहे हैं। नरेंद्र मोदी जी अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं। असल दुनिया में ऐसे क्यों बोलेंगे? नहीं बोलते हैं। उनके खून में है वो, वो नहीं बोलेंगे। वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी के खिलाफ करना, उनमें से 
राजनीति करना खिलाफ बोलकर उनका पार्टी चलाना यही काम है उनका Going across to the guests who are joining us, Kalimul Hafiz is the Delhi AIMIM president. Shriraj Nair is from the BHP. Bura Narsayak Gode is from the TRS. He's a former MP of the TRS. Dr. Geeta Bhatt is an academician and uh, leans towards the RSS. Molana Ali Kadri is an Islamic scholar who will be joining us in just a bit. Let me go across uh, to Geeta Bhatt first up. Geeta Bhatt, when BJP leaders are caught making these remarks, are they helping or hurting the BJP, you think? Well, uh, you see, it is important that those who are in public life, they must restrain themselves while they are making, uh, you know, any kind of observations mm. or comments, mm. especially when it is about, you know, religious figures. But at the same time, I think it is also important to look into this uh, in a manner when we are in a democracy and when people are being, uh, you know, they are uh, airing their views about certain issue, hmm. then w the kind of protest, the kind of violence that is erupting, the way people are being attacked hmm. in the country is something which may lead to very serious consequences. No, it has it already led to very serious in consequences. In the name of religion, Geeta, radical, it has already led see, to very serious see, consequences. See, the, I know, I am... Yes, uh, yes, yes, I agree with you. What I'm trying to say is in the realm of religion, radicals, they cannot use muscle power hmm. and try to challenge the, uh, you know, the state and uh, the state forces. Just, just see the kind of uh, reaction that has happened in the past uh, couple of months right. where people have lost their lives. They have been killed in the name of religion. Kanaya Lal and many others and it is not just these people who have been killed but those who have been attacked and threatened just because they have put their support for Nupur whether Sharma. it is right or wrong that is another aspect but we are in a democracy yes for Nupur Sharma but in a democracy everybody has a right to to air uh, to express their opinion Absolutely. yes the law must take if it is it is, if it is not right then the law must take its own course and uh, that action must be taken. But I get all of that. The radicals but do not have a right to take the law in their land. Absolutely, their absolutely. I get, I get your point. I'm on, uh, uh, in agreement with you. But the question I still asked you, ma'am, you know, the BJP tries to shy away from such debates. They did so for Nupur Sharma. They are doing so for Raja Singh. Fine. They have acted on both of those cases and they have suspended them from the party, pending inquiry, pending a response, whatever. But does it help them? The BJP, let's not forget, is not some, you know, it's not a party that is still struggling to find a pan-India presence. It's a party that is in power in 17, 18 states today. It is in power at the center, right? It has already expanded to an extent that today it has become the center pole of Indian polity. Does it help the BJP when its leaders are heard making such comments? And Raja Singh, forget Nupur Sharma's case. In Nupur Sharma case, you can still argue that she was provoked during a debate and in the heat yeah. of the moment, she said what she said. Even on what she said, people have a disagreement whether that's blasphemy or not. But when somebody like Raja Singh does it, is it helping the BJP or hurting their cause? Geeta ji. Well, uh, you see, uh, you know, the, uh, we also need to understand that when a political party, when it is, it is, it is in a state, when it is running a state, you know, when it is in governance, hmm. then at that time they have to, if uh, that in fact shows that uh, an impartial attitude that if anyone is, uh, is, uh, you know, trying to uh, make such kind of comments which are, uh, not worthy for uh, in terms of being a political representative, an elected representative, right. then a call has to be taken by a political party. But at the same time, we also have someone like Mr. Akbaruddin Ovesi, mm. who is also an elected representative. And you need to listen to his speech, Shivani ji. It is so derogatory where he is mocking know. Hindu gods and goddesses. He is mocking Lakshmi, Lakshmi uh, ji. He is mocking Ganesh and then after that I want to say, he says, Is Mubarak Mehfil me main manhoos naam nahi lena chahata. Rehne dijiye. I mean, such kind of derogatory remarks someone is making. When an action will be taken against such people? You're right. And actually, Why shockingly, is it that 
रखते हैं और आप कौन होते हैं किसी और पे उंगली उठाने वाले जो असादुद्दीन ओवैसी आके रोज उंगली उठाते हैं कि ये कम्युनल है वो कम्युनल है एआईएमआईएम के लीडर्स क्या कर रहे होते हैं रोज रोज नहीं एमआईएम के लीडर तो जो करते हैं वो करते हैं लेकिन जो देश का सर्वोच्च न्यायालय है उसके जो माननीय न्यायाधीश है उन्होंने ये बात कही थी कि इस तरह के टिप्पणी करने से जो नूपुर शर्मा ने की थी पूरी देश में आग लग गई सर वो देश महाराजकता का माहौल हो गया अगर नूपुर शर्मा के खिलाफ भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने कार्रवाई की होती तो आज टी राजा सिंह की हिम्मत नहीं थी इस तरह का डेरोगेटरी और इस तरह की वीडियो अपलोड करने की ये सवाल ये है भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने देश का मजाक बना दिया है यानी पूरी देश की छवि जो पूरी दुनिया में खराब हो रही है पिछली बार सत्रह देशों में हमारे राजदूतों को डिमांड किया गया था पच्चीस देशों में हमारी भारतीय कंपनियों का प्रोडक्ट का बहिष्कार हुआ था अब क्या चाहते हैं ये ये टी राजा सिंह छोटे से फायदे के लिए हमारे देश के सर को नीचे करना चाहते हैं ये देश की छवि को खराब करना चाहते हैं देश को आर्थिक नुकसान पहुंचाना चाहते हैं और बीजेपी वही काम कर रही है चुपचाप सस्पेंड कर देगी और पीछे से संघ परिवार के जो और लोग हैं बीएचपी और बजरंग दल और ये सब सपोर्ट करने आ जाएंगे गीता भट्ट जैसे लोग उनके उनके सपोर्ट में बोलने लगेंगे अरे ये जो भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने जिसके हाथ में सरकार है जो आपने बिल्कुल सही कहा कि सत्रह प्रदेशों में इनकी सरकार है इसकी जिम्मेदारी बनती आ, है कि देश में कानून की बालादस्ती करें संविधान को ये मनवाएं ये संविधान का मजबूती बना रहे हैं ओवैसी जी ने जो बात कही है क्या आप उसका समर्थन करते हैं जिस प्रकार से उन्होंने हिंदू देवी देवताओं देखिए अभी अकबर ये स्टैम अकबर उद्दीन ओवैसी की बात नहीं हो रही है अभी बात हो रही है टी राजा की टी राजा का इशू है उस पर बात करिए आप जिस पर आपकी पार्टी ने इसको सस्पेंड किया उस पर बात करिए उनके उनके खिलाफ नहीं, एक्शन मैं होना चाहिए पूछ रहा हूं। आज का जो विषय है उस पे आइए आप आप उसे छोड़ दीजिए हमने तो वो कानून अपना काम कर चुका है वहाँ पे गलत बात सवाल ये है आपके पास उसके अलावा भी कुछ है क्या एक्शन लिया गया आप ये बताइए अकबर नहीं निलंबित नहीं किया है नाम लेने के बाद बिल्कुल इस मुबारक महफिल में मैं मनहूस नाम नहीं लिया मैडम हिंदू देवी देवताओं के नामों को मनहूस जवाब आपके विधायक How do you, what do you, do you condemn his comment? सुनिए आप, आप आप जवाब सुनिए। Do you condemn his comment? मैं जवाब सुनिए आप। You see people in the media. आप जवाब सुनिए ना आप। That आप जवाब सुनिए ना। That the BJP MLA should not have made. This is not right. But you tell me that whether you condemn your MLA's comments or not. आप बोलते रहिए आप पहले पहले खूब बोल लीजिए आप। जब आप खामोश हो जाएं बता देना मैं आपको जवाब दे दूँगा। देखिए जो अकबरुद्दीन वैसी साहब ने कहा उसे कानून ने अपना काम किया लेकिन मेरा सवाल यह है कि जो टी राजा ने जो देश को छवि पहुंचाई है जो देश को आर्थिक और छवि के तौर पर नुकसान पहुंचाई है उसको कौन जिम्मेदारी देगा ये बिल्कुल ऐसे ही होगा जैसे के नाथुराम गोडसे ने महाराष्ट्र देखिए आप अगर तूतू मैं नहीं करेंगे तो मैं नहीं करूंगा आपसे बहस आप मेरी पूरी बात सुन लीजिए आप अगर नहीं सुन आप नहीं बोलना आप बोलती रहिए जब मैडम इनको चुप कराएंगी तो मैं बोलूंगा कह रहे हैं इस मुबारक महफिल में गीता जी एक सेकंड रुकिए एक सेकंड रुकिए ये तो आपने बोल दिया सत्रह अठारह देशों ने ऑब्जेक्ट किया दुनिया में पचास इस्लामिक देश हैं तो सत्रह अठारह उनमें से कर दिया ऑब्जेक्ट जब हिंदू देव देवताओं की कोई बत, आ, कोई उनके साथ बदतमीजी करता है आए दिन मंदिरों की मूर्तियां तोड़ी जाती हैं आए दिन भद्दे शब्द यूज करते हैं तो दुनिया में तो एक ही हिंदू देश है वो है भारत तो ये तो कोई मापदंड नहीं हो सकता ना कि सत्रह अठारह देशों ने ऑब्जेक्ट कर दिया तो बड़ा मुद्दा हो गया भारत में हिंदू देव देवताओं की अगर आप उनसे बदतमीजी से बात कर रहे हैं उनकी बेजती कर रहे हैं वो भी बड़ा मुद्दा है सर अब आप आगे सुनिए देखिए अगर देश को जहां जवाब देना होता है तो देश को ये नहीं कहना पड़ता ये हमारी पॉलिसी नहीं है और ये इंफ्रिंज एलिमेंट है भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने अपने नेशनल डोंट यूज नुपुर शर्मा टू डिफेंड क्या मैं पूरी नहीं होगी आप समझ सकती हैं डोंट यूज नुपुर शर्मा टू डिफेंड नुपुर शर्मा डज नॉट is not a case that can be used as a defense for raja singh and it can, it is not a case that can be used as a defense for your people आप आइए आगे पे आइए देखिए ये भारतीय जनता पार्टी के जो 
आरएसएस से जुड़े हुए नाथुराम गोडसे थे जब उन्होंने राष्ट्रपिता की हत्या की थी ना तब भी आरएसएस ने उनसे पल्ला झाड़ लिया था और ये कहा था हमारे इनसे कोई लेना देना नहीं है जबकि कपूर कमीशन ने साबित कर दिया कि आरएसएस को उसमें इन्वॉल्वमेंट है इसी तरीके से इनका मोटर सफरेंडी है ये पीछे से माहौल खराब करने के लिए हैदराबाद में अमन है हैदराबाद में इन्वेस्टमेंट ग्रोथ है हैदराबाद तरक्की कर रहा है ये इनको पसंद नहीं है आठ साल से वहां कोई दंगा नहीं हुआ ये दंगा कराना चाहते हैं इनको राजनीतिक तौर पर के सी आर का ये इसलिए माहौल खराब करना चाहते हैं तो ये जो क्या कहा मैडम आपने मुझे दोबारा मैं कह रही हूँ ए आई एम आई एम के लोग कितने दंगों में इन्वॉल्व रहे हैं उसकी लिस्ट पड़ी थी मैंने शो से पहले देखिए मैडम मैं तो आपको बता रहा हूं आपने गलत पड़ी थी वो मैं भी एक उसमें मेमोरेंडम देने गया था तीस लोगों में मैं ही प्रेसिडेंट था उसको लीड कर रहा था मेमोरेंडम देने में ही ये दिल्ली पुलिस ने हमें जेल के अंदर डाल दिया और नूपुर शर्मा को आज तक गिरफ्तार नहीं किया और देखिए केसीआर गवर्नमेंट को देखिए कि उन्होंने आज उसे गिरफ्तार कर लिया तो Why not arrest this counselor of the AIMIM who is openly giving a call to violence? Sir Tan Se Juda, caught on camera. When will action be taken against him? See, uh, there is a saying: with power comes responsibility, and with great power comes great responsibility. Whether it's the country, national government, or state government, we have a constitutional obligation to maintain peace and harmony and keep all religions in the same power, having no. uh uh bad things about any religion so in this raja singh himself is been suspended by the bjp party right. then you know the severity of the problem and also the councillor who are party may be who are it may be will be arrested and shall be arrested that is the bottom line see once you create a frankenstein in fact the history proves the frankenstein destroy the creators just uh, take about the bindrawale Bindravale was created to as a counter to the Akali Dal, hmm. and ultimately what happened? Bindravale is became a responsible for the uh, ending the uh, life of the creator, party and his party. So that's why India is has to become a superpower. Telangana has to become a economic uh, model. In this scenario, this kind of a attitude, whether it's a राजा सिंह अरे अकबर उद्दीन आर एनी बडी इफ यू टॉलरेट देन इट इज गोइंग टू बी बैड फॉर द कंट्री सर द क्वेश्चन स्टिल अराइजेस व्हाई इज जफर दिस काउंसलर स्टिल आउट इन इन फैक्ट व्हेन यू रेस स्लोगन्स लाइक सरतन से जुदा एंड आई एम रनिंग विजुअल्स ऑफ द काइंड ऑफ प्रोटेस्ट दैट हैव बीन कैरीड आउट इन तेलंगाना एंड इन हैदराबाद व्हाई वाज द पुलिस नॉट एक्टिंग यू इट्स डिस्पाइट द फैक्ट दैट इन द नूपुर शर्मा केस पीपल्स लाइव्स हैव बीन लॉस्ट You should have been the no, first the, one the, to crack the, down on this. No, the, the, we should not spare anybody. You should not, but you, you did. Clearly. We should not. We should not spare anybody, because it is not a question of one or two individuals. This kind of statements, this kind of thing, ultimately, common man is bothered about roadie, kapda, and makar. Hmm. And once this uh, world is a global village. What happens in Hyderabad? What happens in Delhi? What happens in the uh, remote corner of the uh, India? Also, is known the entire world that is going to have a serious economic implications. I take your point. I take your market. point. But my uh, point is that, that why is there a delay in action on the AI MIM leader who is threatening violence? Sir, Tan Se Juda ka matlab to aapko bhi pata hoga. Wo to beheading ki baat kar rahe hain aur beheading ho chuki hai Nupur Sharma ke naam pe. Zarur, zarur. जरूर का, का हो जाएगा वी विल नॉट स्पेयर एंड आवर गवर्नमेंट विल नॉट स्पेयर एंड वी शैल नॉट स्पेयर दैट इज द बॉटम लाइन वेल वी वेट एंड सी इफ यू डोंट एक्ट इक्वली ऑन बोथ ऑफ दीस देन देयर इज अ प्रॉब्लम एंड इन फैक्ट दैट्स एग्जैक्टली व्हाट जीता भट्ट वाज पॉइंटिंग आउट टू दैट स्ट्रीट मसल पावर कैन नॉट बी अ बैरोमीटर ऑफ हु इज राइट हु इज रॉन्ग और हु इज राइटर एंड हु इज लेस राइट let me bring in molana ali kadri who's an islamic scholar also joining us before that i'm going across to shri raj nayar shri raj nayar the question that is also emerging uh, for organizations like the vhp like mr khalilul uh, khalimul was saying vhp bajrang dal uh, uh, you know rss they name uh, but specially organizations like bajrang dal and vhp why are you doing things 
that are making the minorities in the country feel like you are at war with them. You are fighting with them every day. Madam, I object to what you say when the so-called minorities of the Kanwar or the Hindu converts. We are not doing any such act. We are absolutely doing our work. We are, we are our intention is only to protect the Hindu Dharma and to ensure that you know nothing uh, wrong happens to the uh, we protect our Hindu Dharma. That's the only thing we don't we are not here to harm anybody and we don't do so. Now we're talking about this, we are discussing about this particular topic. Hmm. We are forgetting that why this all happened. It is like a, it, the reason is a petty comedian like some Munavar Munavar God, I don't know his name. He always has been mocking and ridiculing Hindu dharma. And this person, this particular MLA, Mr. Raja Singh, he objected for his show. And uh, the, Tel uh, the Telangana government uh, was uh, bound to ensure that the show happens. And uh, why should, uh, you know, now if you're saying that nobody uh, should uh, speak anything derivatory about any particular religion, then why only speak against Hindu dharma? We saw this, the, everything about the world, what is happening today is only because of Akbar bin Obesi who started and I don't want to tell the kind of words because he might have said what and you also played. So it is only because of Akbar bin Obesi who started all this thing and then somebody followed it. Every action is why I got a reaction. Hindus are not to sit quiet. So it is these people who have started and again, if Raja Singh has said anything, this nation has got a judicial system. Even the likes of Qatar and Abdul Guru had got an opportunity for going for a trial. And here Raja Singh will undergo a trial and what is the only system of the country. And if we found wrong, he will be punished. No, no, wait a second, okay. Mr. Nair, wait one person. second. You said, Why, that sir? Mr. you said Raja Singh was objecting to Man Man uh, Manavar Faruqi's show. Now, I have also mentioned at the start of my show that Faruqi is indeed very controversial. Some of the things that he has said about Hindu gods and goddesses is absolutely unpalatable and should not be allowed if you want your gods and goddesses also to be respected. I understand that sentiment. But in this case, the show hadn't happened. That's right. So, hasn't happened. So, if, if in this case, Raja Singh, if he has said anything wrong, the law will take its own course. The way, like I was listening to Mr. Kalimuddin, the way the law took its own course of action against Akbar Udin Ovesi, a trial will be conducted and according to the law of this great nation, if he is found to be wrong, a punishment will be imposed on him. Why are these people calling for that kind of law? This nation has got its own judicial system and they have to respect it. These people are trying to bring in Sarva and IFA kind of culture to this nation. Which cannot be allowed, and VAB will strongly object, and we will ensure that this kind of people's mentality is defeated. Okay, Mamolana Kadri, this is a legitimate more. question. Mr. Naya, wait one second. This is a legitimate question. Akbar Uddin ne kya bola hai, Manover Faruqi ne kya bola hai, bohat si cheeze huye hai, humare desh mein tum uh, M.F. Hussain ka bhi case ho chuka hai, bohat si cases huye hai, aur ye aay din hota hai, aap social media mein dekhe to aay din hota hai. Lekin, उन केसेस में जब हिंदू गॉड्स एंड गॉडेसेस की कोई अपमान करता है तो उस केस में दंगे नहीं होते सर तन से जुदा या बेहेडिंग के कॉल्स नहीं होते ये जो एक ट्रेंड चल गया है मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी में कि भैया किसी ने कुछ बोल दिया आपको बुरा लग गया तो पाकिस्तान में जो होता है वैसे यहां पे भी सर तन से जुदा कर दो इसको तो कंट्रोल करने की जरूरत है इस्लामी है ना तो वो हिंदुस्तानी मुसलमानों का नारा है जिसने भी लगाया गलत किया है चाहे वो किसी भी पद पर हो अगर किसी ने नारा लगाया है तो गलत किया है अंदर की तो बात ही नहीं है सर आए दिन हो रहा है मौलाना जी आए दिन हो रहा है द कम्युनिटी नीड के नॉट वॉश इट्स हैंड्स ऑफ बाय सेइंग कि ये हमारा नहीं है और हम कंडेम करते हैं आई एम सॉरी इससे ज्यादा करना पड़ेगा कम्युनिटी को हाँ जरा जरा सुन लीजिए इससे ज्यादा कम्युनिटी को करना है पता है मुझे और राजा सिंह जैसे जलील लोगों को कंट्रोल करने की भी जरूरत है वो अगर प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लाम के बारे में बोलेगा तो हम जमुरी अंदाज में एहतजाज करेंगे नहीं नहीं जमुरी अंदाज क्या होता है नायर जी रुक जाइए एक दूसरे के ऊपर मत बोलिए क्या मतलब है आपका जमुरी अंदाज में
जमुरी अंदाज में हम अपना प्रोटेस्ट करेंगे कोई वायलेंस नहीं करेंगे लेकिन प्रोटेस्ट हमारा हक है हम करेंगे और राजा सिंह पर यूएपीए के तहत केस बुक होना चाहिए जैसा यूपी में एक पत्थर मारते केस बुक होता है ना गैंगस्टर पर यूएपीए का अरे हामिद गुटा जो खुद को हामिद गुटा रुक जाइए नायर जी रुक जाइए आई कम बैक टू यू जिस तरीके से यूपी में यूएपीए का केस अरे क्या बकरे की गोली खा गया क्या भाई आराम से आराम से मौलाना कादरी जी कंट्रोल योरसेल्फ आप बोलिए मैं ये कह रहा हूँ कि यूपी में जिस तरीके से यूएपीए का केस बुक होता है उसी तरीके से राजा सिंह ने भी सारे रियासत को सारे तेलंगाना को डिस्टर्ब किया है उसके ऊपर गैंगस्टर और यूपीए यूएपीए केस बुक होना चाहिए अच्छा। अरे हम किसी भी किसी भी गलत की तारीद नहीं करेंगे हम मुनवर फारूकी की तारीद नहीं करते ज्ञान व्यापी के वक्त जिस वक्त जो शिवलिंग का मजाक उड़ाया गया तो पहला आदमी मैं था जो उसको अपोज किया किसी की आस्था को नुकसान मत पहुंचाओ गलत बात है हम किसी की आस्था को नुकसान नहीं पहुंचाना जी, चाहते तो मौलाना जी मुझे याद है जब मनोवर फारूकी पर केस हुए थे उनको जेल में भी डाला गया था तो बहुत लोगों को बहुत बुरा लगा था वो कह रहे थे की सिर्फ कुछ बोला ही तो है क्या जरूरत है फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच है फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन है तब तो लोग नहीं मान रहे थे कि सही एक्शन हुआ है ना ना गलत बात मुनवर फारूकी को नायर जी आप प्लीज रुक जाइए उनके ऊपर मत बोलिए प्लीज मौलाना कादरी मुनवर फारूकी को जो रिमांड किया गया जो केस बुक किया गया बिल्कुल सही किया गया अगर उसने फिर ऐसी हरकत की तो इससे ज्यादा बड़े सेक्शन में उसके ऊपर केस बुक होना चाहिए okay. हम कभी नहीं कहेंगे कि किसी भी धर्म की आप आस्था को ठेस पहुँचाए आप तो फिर तो ए आई के जो काउंसलर है उनपे भी एक्शन होना चाहिए वी विल वेट एंड सी इफ द गवर्नमेंट एक्ट्स इक्विवोकली यस मिस्टर नायर लास्ट ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स बट प्लीज कंट्रोल व्हाट यूर सेइंग नो मैडम द प्रॉब्लम इज यू नो दिस पीपल आर एब्सोल्युटली हिपोक्रेट नाउ नाउ मिस्टर राजा सिंह हैज बीन अरेस्टेड लेट द लॉ कोर्ट टेक इट ऑन कोर्ट इफ ही हैज डन रॉन्ग आई यस यस लेट हिम बी पनिश्ड बट देयर हजन फॉर ऑफ द कांग्रेस हु इज इंस्टिगेटिंग पीपल टू टेक द लॉ इन इन द टाइम The corporator who is the who is the part of the consensus of the gang. What are these people up to? The problem is we have to take fever action against this kind of people. They are the people who are trying to bring bad reputation to the country. These are the people who are mocking the state in the international scenario. Well, if people on UAP against Raja Singh, then even those who call for beheadings must be booked. But frankly, that's trivializing the UAP. We have enough and all uh, good laws to take control and to uh, set such actions uh, in order. I do thank all of our guests for joining us. But speaking of this case, we are getting some breaking updates coming coming in. Remember, Raja Singh was arrested earlier today by the state, and now bail has been granted to him. Let me go across to my colleague Swastika, who is joining me. Swastika, do we know more of uh, how uh, the MLA has managed to get bail? Anything the court said? Swastika. All right so we're going to go across to my colleague Swastika in just a bit but Raja Singh has been granted bail uh this is of course in the case of hurting religious sentiments he's been booked under various sections and this is uh, related to a video that he uh, uploaded on social media in response to Munawar Farooqi but he was also heard making derogatory comments against another religion and religious figure Swastika is with us now. Swastika, anything the court said while granting bail? Well, the court has let him off with a warning. Is what we are learning. However, we are still waiting for the court order, okay. and that is when we will get the final details of what the order is. But we know that Raja Singh has been granted bail by the Nam Pali court uh, uh, on a personal bond, and he's also been let off with a warning, saying if there will be any such disparaging comments that he makes. Regarding any religious community, then there will be stringent action on that regard. Okay, so I think I leave it at that. Let's go across to some more breaking news coming in. This is with regards to the liquor gate in the national capital. Now, the ED has registered a PMLA case against Delhi Deputy Minister, uh, Chief Minister Manish Sisodia, and others. This case has been registered after the CBI FIR and evidence to show that proceeds of crime have been generated. through tweaking the excise policy this of course lands manish sisodia who's a minister in further trouble ashish my colleague is joining us with more on this ashish some details so you know we all expected this to happen because mm. after the cbi registered or the fir 
most of the sections were falling under the uh, the scheduled offence of the enforcement director PMLA. Okay. So the so here uh, my sources in the enforcement director are confirming to me that the case has been registered and in all likelihood we could see some action in days to come from the enforcement director. So, uh, how much uh, does this raise the trouble for somebody like Manish Sisodia? I mean, is uh, an arrest or an, uh, a summon for interrogation imminent? So, you know, it's uh, very difficult to say as of now what kind of action the enforcement directorate will take. Usually, you know, they have their own search and seizure procedure. Hmm. They, they can summon Manish Sisodia and others as well. They can have their own parallel investigation and they can go beyond what the CBI jurisdiction is because they usually follow the money trail and this is this on the face of it is a big financial uh, crime where uh, in, there are allegations that because of the tweaking of the policy uh, there are certain people who have made financial gain hmm. so let's see how things move forward but ultimately certainly it's a big big trouble for, for money, for money. So, so, so their reason being, Ashish yeah, I'll leave it at that yeah. I do thank you for joining us with those details